welcome back to Jenny's Kitchen. So today we are making something extra special and extra delicious. We are making mochi. I've been calling it mochi, mochi. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. So I Googled it. You know how you do. You go on the Google and you Google it and it's mochi. So I've been saying it right 50% of the time. Mochi is a Japanese dessert, a soft, Imagine marshmallowy textured dough. And on the inside, it is stuffed with ice cream. So any kind of flavor ice cream, the dough and the ice cream can vary in flavors. There's vanilla, there's green tea, there's strawberry, like a bunch of things. Anything you can imagine, there's a mochi flavor for it. Mochi is freaking delicious. And my sister introduced it to me. It combines all delicious things. Freaking marshmallowy kind of outside and an ice creamy inside. <laughs> Okay, it's delicious. So I've actually never made this before and we're making it together for the first time right here. Buckle your seatbelts, kids. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. According to a recipe that I found, a very popular recipe I found on Google by justonecookbook.com. I will link the recipe down below. It seems super easy to make, so let's just jump right in and start cooking. First thing you're gonna do is get any kind of flavor of ice cream that you want. I went really basic today and I just did vanilla. What you want to do is create a ball of ice cream and you're gonna put these balls of ice cream into a muffin or cupcake wrapper you're gonna put it into a baking muffin baking dish and then you'll just put those balls of ice cream in there stick it in the freezer refreeze for at least an hour and then what you're going to do is prep the outside so the inside is easy it's already done for you so all we have to do is make the outside dough that like marshmallowy dough we're gonna need just one two three four four ingredients is all you're gonna need for this and it seems to be pretty easy i don't know we're gonna find out so the first thing you're going to need this is oh my gosh if I pronounce this wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Shiratamako. Shiratamaku. Shirat Shiratamako. Shiratamako. Basically what that is, is a glutinous rice flour or a sweet rice flour. You can find this at like health food stores, but I got an easier thing for you. Here's a trick. Go to walmart.com and buy this one. The Red Mills. Can you see that? This one. This is the Bob's Red Mill Sweet Rice Flour. Sweet, sweet rice, <laughs> it's a tongue twister. Sweet white rice flour. <laughs> and that's the most important ingredient because this is the flour that you're going to be using to make that like glutinous, marshmallowy like dough. And then what you're also going to need is some corn starch or potato starch. And you're also going to need some sugar. And then you're just gonna need yourself a bowl and a spoon to mix it up and uh, that's it. So let's get right into making it and see what happens. So we're gonna need three quarters of a cup of this. This was probably a bad day to wear black. <laughs> Already made a mess. And then we're going to need a quarter cup of sugar. There we go. Now that we've got the special flour and the sugar in here, we're gonna mix it up with three quarters of a cup of water. We got our water, dump it in. All right, so now that we have the dough, so this is the uncooked dough. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cover this up with some plastic wrap and then we're going to microwave it in increments. So according to the recipe, so one minute, take it out, one minute, and then 30 seconds. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Listen, you know whenever the recipes say like cook in the microwave on high heat, medium heat, low heat, I don't know how to do that. There must be a setting on the microwave. Please tell me I'm not the only one that never does that. I just put it in and deal with whatever setting it's on. One minute down, we remove it and we mix it up again. Give it a good mixing. Oh, wow, that's weird. It's like thickening up on the side, so no wonder we gotta mix it. Make sure it cooks evenly. All right, now we're gonna put it back in, cover it up. Back in another minute. Woo! All right, almost done. Oh wow, this is quite the texture. <laughs> I just can't look. <laughs> look at this. Okay, good enough. Now we put this back on. Another 30 seconds to go. 
ready. While that's still in the microwave, almost out, we're going to use this here. So we're gonna put this down here. So this is what's gonna be like the flour of the bread to like make it not stick. All right, it's ready. So here's the final look of this thing here. Look at this. It is hot though. Okay, so now we're gonna remove this gooey thing here from the bowl. Just like you would with bread, we're going to spread this out and get it to be a very thin situation. I think that's good enough. We're just gonna make it into a nice uniform little dough here, and then I'm gonna try and roll it out. Here is my little dough. Let's roll it out, and I guess we're supposed to get it pretty thin, so this is gonna be interesting. You know, might as well just like stretch it out first. That was a bad idea. Now it's too thin. <laughs> Basically what we have to do is just cut them out in circles. You can use a cookie cutter or a glass or something just to cut out thin circles. So now you're going to remove your balls of ice cream out from the freezer. We have our little ice cream balls here that I made previously. What we're gonna do is just remove them, pick up our circle of mochi goo and we're going to try and stick this together without the ice cream melting and then we're just gonna kind of figure this out mold it around I'm just gonna say off the bat my mochi does not look like they buy them in stores <laughs> I think I made it too thin because the ones that you buy at the store are a lot thicker than this but it's okay we're just gonna roll with it and there you go just gonna put this here and then we're gonna plop it back on our little tray and again we have our ice cream plop it in and fold it up and you're just gonna kind of hopefully you can see that well and just kind of squeeze it together to make sure they adhere all right let's just make all of these and I'll check back with you guys in a second all right you guys now that I am covered in cornstarch and all kinds of white powders food white powders. Anyway, now we have our finished little mochi here and I'm going to try one out to see if it's actually any good. So these are the finished little mochis. As you can see, let me take one out and show you. So here's the little finished mochi. Look at him. So here's the bottom. So he doesn't look uh, like the ones you'd see in the store. I'm gonna insert a picture to show you how they actually look in the store or when you buy them, how they're supposed to look. Now, I'm gonna go for the taste test to see if it's actually as good as the recipe says. It got like four, four and a half stars. So let's see if this is good before it melts everywhere. Here we go. <laughs> hmm, I really like it. Maimo mochi from Publix or any sort of supermarket that they have in the freezer aisle. I buy those mochis, mochis every so often and the dough of that one is a lot sweeter and a lot softer than this. But this is good. <laughs> Pleasantly surprised, it was actually super easy to make and uh, didn't make too much of a mess and they worked out, they really did, and I'm so surprised. Make sure to try some homemade mochi, make it yourself, and also, thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting my videos. If you haven't already, you know the drill, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, and also to hit subscribe if you're not part of the fam yet, because I put out a lot more of these amazing videos, and I have a lot more awesome challenge videos and things coming up. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. I will see you guys again next Wednesday. Bye! So what we have today is, um, hold on, my brain, <laughs> and then, ooh, the rest of these are all little mochis, mo mochi, mochis. Listen, now I can't even remember which one is the right one. Let's just see how they say it because I keep forgetting. Mochi. It's mochi. Listen. Mochi. Mochi. <laughs>